Uh, Ricky, first off, uh, pleasure to have the opportunity to speak with you. Congratulations on the third season of American Gods also. Thank you. Um, I have to ask, you're a month away now. It's, it, I, and I know from watching all of you on social media and what you've been saying, it for you, I'm sure it feels like even longer. <laughs> How is it feeling now knowing a month away that it's, it's going to get in front of everybody's eyeballs? Um, this is always the most exciting part because I know what we've done. Um, and for me, this season was a very special season. For me, this is a very, very strong return to form, if not the best season yet. Um, Chip Kegley came in and worked really hard with Neil Gaiman, who also came back from kind of good omens and put a settling hand on the show. And if I was going to describe season two as like a treasure hunt where we kind of had, we found things here and there, season three is more like, like a planned roller coaster. So as an actor, it's nice in a movie where you have a start, middle and end. You know where your arc is and what you're going, what you're going to do. In TV, it's harder to do, but Chick and Neil came in and they gave us this arc. They gave us the beginning, the middle and end over this season and, and the next. And so we knew exactly where we were. So it was so easy as an actor. And for me, this season is just so fluid and, and exciting. Um, it's my favorite part of the book. It's, it's Lakeside where it twists into this kind of murder mystery thing for Shadow who becomes Mike Ainsel who's hiding uh, in this Lakeside town. And you kind of see all the dynamics develop between Bill Quiss and Tech Boy. And then of course, Wednesday, who we found out is his father. Um, there's a very, sh very strong shift in control there, which is nice to see for the first time that Shadow's in control now and becomes very proactive with his choices. And you had mentioned this before. Um, it's interesting, and I don't want to give too many spoilers away for when this is going to go post, but this, the third season so far, while it's joined, I also feel like I'm getting several genres playing at the same time. Like, for example, you bring up Lakeside. It feels like a horror story building. Whereas Wednesday's story feels like a road trip and, and Laura's story feels like a revenge. And yet they're all working together. Was that the intention for the third season or is that something you realized as it went along? I mean, this, this, is, this is what Neil and, and Chip worked on. And it's what makes it so exciting for me uh, to be a part of that. There is nothing like this show out there. You know, like you say, it spans so many genres. There's, there's the fantasy, of course, with the gods and the, the leprechauns and the deities and the magic. Um, you have the murder mystery in Lakeside. You kind of have the kind of, I don't want to dull it down as, as, as superhero moments, but you have these kind of special moments where the gods are going to use their powers. You know, they're Avengers almost. Um, and then you kind of got the realness, the gritty, the romance, the drama, and then something that we're able to kind of portray on this show and as we have this beautiful platform is cultural uh, differences and the beauty of each, each faith. Um, we, we kind of, we don't shy away from really powerful ethical stories. I mean, we're talking about the history of America, um, which is very relevant right now. And on this show, we kind of, we kind of are able to kind of touch upon all these different moments and, and themes and, and, uh, and sensitive topics. So for me, you know, when people ask me to describe the show, you literally cannot just describe it. You know, I know, I know we've only got a few moments right now, but it is just mind blowing. And so uh, season three really kind of does take a turn. It adds more genres in still. Um, but for me, it's the most planned, the most, most well executed. And for me as Shadow, I really get to have fun this season. You know, I built Shadow up. He was broken shell of a man that I had to kind of empty out the void of charisma and, and everything. And then I built him up in season two with the frustration. This season, Shadow really gets to have fun. Um, and my favorite episode of the whole show so far, all I'm gonna say is it's kind of an Ocean's Eleven moment where Shadow gets to have some fun. Excellent, excellent tease. Ricky, thank you so much. Really looking forward to it. And, and again, thank you for having time today. Thank you, stay safe, buddy. Take care. <laughs>